أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ياسين والقرآن الحكيم إنك لمن المرسلين على صراط مستقيم تنزيل العزيز الرحيم لتنذر قوما ما أنذر آباؤهم فهم غافلون لقد حق القول على أكثرهم فهم لا يؤمنون إنا جعلنا في أعناقهم أغلالا فهي إلى الأذقان فهم مكمحون وجعلنا من بين أيديهم سدا ومن خلفهم سدا فأغشيناهم فهم لا يبسرون وسواء عليهم أأنذرتهم أم لم تنذرهم لا يؤمنون إنما تنذر من اتبع الذكر وخشي الرحمن بالغيب فبشره بمغفرة وأجر كريم إنا نحن نحيي الموتى ونكتب ما قدموا وآثارهم وكل شيء أحصيناه في إمام مبين واضرب لهم مثلا أصحاب القرية إذ جاءها المرسلون إذ أرسلنا إليهم اثنين فكذبوهما فعززنا بثالث فقالوا إنا إليكم مرسلون قالوا ما أنتم إلا بشر مثلنا وما أنزل الرحمن من شيء إن أنتم إلا تكذبون قالوا ربنا يعلم إنا إليكم لمرسلون وما علينا إلا البلاغ المبين قالوا إنا تطيرنا بكم لئن لم تنتهوا لنرجمنكم وليمسنكم منا عذاب أليم قالوا طائركم معكم أئن ذكرتم بل أنتم قوم مسرفون وجاء من أقصى المدينة رجل يسعى قال يا قوم اتبعوا المرسلين اتبعوا من لا يسألكم أجرا وهم مهتدون وما لي لا أعبد الذي فطرني وإليه ترجعون أأتخذ من دونه آلهة إن يردني الرحمن بضر لا تغني عني شفاعتهم شيئا ولا ينقذون إني إذا لفي ضلال مبين إني آمنت بربكم فاسمعون قيل دخل الجنة قال يا ليت قومي يعلمون بما غفر لي ربي وجعلني من المكرمين 
وما أنزلنا على قومه من بعده من جند من السماء وما كنا منزلين إن كانت إلا صيحة واحدة فإذا هم خامدون يا حسرة على العباد ما يأتيهم من رسول إلا كانوا به يستهزئون ألم يروا كم أهلكنا قبلهم من الكرون أنهم إليهم لا يرجعون وإن كل لما جميع لدينا محضرون وآية لهم الأرض الميتة أحييناها وأخرجنا منها حبا فمنه يأكلون وجعلنا فيها جنات من نخيل وأعناب وفجرنا فيها من العيون ليأكلوا من ثمره وما عملته أيديهم أفلا يشكرون سبحان الذي خلق الأزواج كلها مما تنبت الأرض ومن أنفسهم ومما لا يعلمون وآية لهم الليل نسلخ منه النهار فإذا هم مظلمون والشمس تجري لمستقر لها ذلك تقدير العزيز العليم والقمر قدرناه منازل حتى عاد كالعرجون القديم للشمس ينبغي لها أن تدرك القمر ولا الليل سابق النهار وكل في فلك يسبحون وآية لهم أنا حملنا ذريتهم في الفلك المشحون وخلقنا لهم من مثله ما يركبون وإن نشأ نغرقهم فلا صريخ لهم ولا هم ينقذون إلا رحمة منا ومتاعا إلى حين وإذا قيل لهم اتقوا ما بين أيديكم وما خلفكم لعلكم ترحمون وما تأتيهم من آية من آيات ربهم إلا كانوا عنها معرضين وإذا قيل لهم أنفقوا مما رزقكم الله قال الذين كفروا للذين آمنوا أنطعم من لو يشاء الله أطعمه إن أنتم إلا في ضلال مبين ويقولون متى هذا الوعد إن كنتم صادقين ما ينذرون إلا صيحة واحدة تأخذهم وهم يخصمون فلا يستطيعون توسية ولا إلى أهلهم يرجعون ونفخ في السور فإذا هم من الأجداث إلى ربهم ينسلون قالوا يا ويلنا من بعثنا من مرقدنا هذا ما وعد الرحمن وصدق المرسلون إن كانت إلا صيحة واحدة فإذا هم جميع لدينا محضرون فاليوم لا تظلم نفس شيئا ولا تجزون إلا ما كنتم تعملون إن أصحاب الجنة اليوم في شغل فاكهون هم وأزواجهم في ظلال على الأرائك متكئون لهم فيها فاكهة ولهم ما يدعون سلام 
قولا من رب رحيم وامتاز اليوم أيها المجرمون ألم أعهد إليكم يا بني آدم ألا تعبدوا الشيطان إنه لكم عدو مبين وأن يعبدوني هذا صراط مستقيم ولقد أضل منكم جبلا كثيرا أفلم تكونوا تعقلون هذه جهنم التي كنتم توعدون إصلوها اليوم بما كنتم تكفلون اليوم نختم على أفواههم وتكلمنا أيديهم وتشهد أرجلهم بما كانوا يكسبون ولو نشاء لطمسنا على أعينهم فاستبقوا الصراط فأنا يبسرون ولو نشاء لمسخناهم على مكانتهم فما استطاعوا مضيا ولا يرجعون ومن نعمره ننكسه في الخلق أفلا يعقلون وما علمناه الشعر وما ينبغي له إن هو إلا ذكر وقرآن مبين لينذر من كان حيا ويحق القول على الكافرين أولم يروا أنا خلقنا لهم مما عملت أيدينا أنعاما فهم لها مالكون وذللناها لهم فمنها ركوبهم ومنها يأكلون ولهم فيها منافع ومشارب أفلا يشكرون واتخذوا من دون الله آلهة لعلهم ينكرون صرون لا يستطيعون نصرهم وهم لهم جند محضرون فلا يحزنك قولهم إن نعلم ما يسرون وما يعلنون أولم ير الإنسان أن خلقناه من نطفة فإذا هو خصيم مبين وضرب لنا مثلا ونسي خلقه قال من يحيي العظام وهي رميم قل يحييها الذي أنشأها أول مرة وهو بكل خلق عليم الذي جعل لكم من الشجر الأخضر نارا فإذا أنتم منه توقدون أوليس الذي خلق السماوات والأرض بقادر على أن يخلق مثلهم بلى وهو الخلاق العليم إنما أمره إذا أراد شيئا أن يقول له كن فيكون فسبحان الذي بيده ملكوت كل شيء وإليه ترجعون صدق الله العظيم اللهم آمين أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إنا كنا من الظالمين إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيرنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما بقدر عظمة ذاتك في كل وقت وحيم 
اللهم إنا نحتفظك ونستودعك أدياننا وأبداننا وأنفسنا وأهلنا وأولادنا وأولادنا وأموالنا وكل شيء أعطيتنا اللهم اجعلنا وإياهم في كنفك وأمانك وعياذك من كل شيطان مريد وجبار عنيد وذي بغي وذي حسد ومن شر كل ذي شر إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم جملنا بالعافية والسلام وحققنا بالتقوى والاستقامة وأعذنا من موجبات الندامة إنك سميع الدعاء اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا وأولادنا ومشايخنا وأصحابنا وإخواننا في الدين ولمن أحبنا فيك ولمن أحسن إلينا والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وصل اللهم على عبدك ورسولك سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وارزقنا كمال المتابعة له ظاهرا وباتنا في عافية وسلامة برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين يا الله يا الله يا الله ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وأدخلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه يجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله اللهم آمين 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 أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما تقدموا لأنفسكم من خير تجدوه عند الله هو خيرا وأعظم أجرا واستغفر الله إن الله غفور رحيم استغفر الله 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 
استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله العظيم الذي لا اله الا هو الحي القيوم واتوب اليه إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم 
اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما بقدر عظمة ذاتك في كل وقت وحين فاعلم أنه لا إله إلا الله 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 سيدنا محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين 
إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الذين قال لهم الناس إن الناس قد جمعوا لكم فاخشوهم فزادهم إيمانا وقالوا حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل 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 فانقلبوا بنعمة من الله وفضل لم يمسسهم سوء واتبعوا ردوان الله والله ذو فضل عظيم 
اللهم يا لطيف التف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير اللهم يا لطيف التف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير اللهم يا لطيف التف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم امين اعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد صاحب التاج والمعراج والبراك والعلم دافع البلاء والوباء والقحط والمرض والالم اسمه مكتوب مرفوع مشفوع منكوش في اللوح والقلم سيد العرب والعجم جسمه مقدس معتر متهر منور في البيت والحرم شمس الدحى بدر الدجى صدر العلا نور الهدى كهف الورى مصباح الظلم جميل الشيم شفيع الامم صاحب الجود والكرم والله عاصمه وجبريل خادمه والبراك مركبه والمعراج سفره وسدرة المنتهى مقامه وقاب قوسين مطلوبه والمطلوب مقصوده والمقصود موجوده سيد المرسلين خاتم النبيين شفيع المذنبين انيس الغريبين رحمه للعالمين راحه العاشقين مراد المشتاقين شمس العارفين سراج السالكين مصباح المقربين محب الفقراء والغرباء والمساكين سيد الثقلين نبي الحرمين امام القبلتين وسيلتنا في الدارين وسيلتنا في الدارين صاحب قاب قوسين محبوب رب المشرقين والمغربين جد الحسن والحسين جد الحسن والحسين مولانا ومولى الثقلين ابي القاسم محمد بن عبد الله نور من نور الله نور من نور الله يا ايها المشتاقون بنور جماله صلوا عليه واله واصحابه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما بقدر عظمه ذاتك في كل وقت وحين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وارغلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين ربنا تقبل منا انك انت السميع العليم وتب علينا انك انت التواب الرحيم 
Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar La ilaha illallah sayyidina Muhammadun Rasulullah Allahumma amin, amin, amin بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا علي يا عظيم يا حليم يا عليم أنت ربي وعلمك حسبي فنعم الرب ربي ونعم الحسب حسبي تنسر من تشاء وأنت العزيز الرحيم نسألك العصمة في الحركات والسكنات والكلمات والإرادات والخطرات من الشكوك والذنون والأوهام الساترة للقلوب عن مطالعة الغيوب فقد ابتلي المؤمنون وزلزلوا زلزالا شديدا وإذ يقول المنافقون والذين في قلوبهم مرد ما وعدنا الله ورسوله إلا غرورا فثبتنا وانصرنا وسخر لنا هذا البحر كما سخرت البحر لموسى وسخرت النار لإبراهيم وسخرت الجبال والحديد لداود وسخرت الريح والشياطين والجن لسليمان وسخر لنا كل بحر هو لك في الأرض والسماء والملك والملكوت وبحر الدنيا وبحر الآخرة وسخر لنا كل شيء يا من بيده ملكوت كل شيء كاف ها يا عين صاد كاف ها يا عين صاد كاف ها يا عين صاد انصرنا فإنك خير الناصرين وافتح لنا فإنك خير الفاتحين واغفر لنا فإنك خير الغافرين وارحمنا فإنك خير الراحمين وارزقنا فإنك خير الرازقين واهدنا ونجنا من القوم الظالمين وهب لنا ريحا طيبة كما هي في علمك وانشرها علينا من خزائن رحمتك واحملنا بها حمل الكرامة مع السلامة والعافية في الدين والدنيا والآخرة إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم يسر لنا أمورنا مع الراحة لقلوبنا وأبداننا 
والسلامة والعافية في دنيانا وديننا وكن لنا صاحبا في سفرنا وخليفة في أهلنا واطمس على وجوه أعدائنا وامسخهم على مكانتهم فلا يستطيعون المضيء ولا المجيء إلينا ولو نشاء لطمسنا على أعينهم فاستبقوا الصراط فأنا يبسرون ولو نشاء لمسخناهم على مكانتهم فما استطاعوا مضيا ولا يرجعون ياسين والقرآن الحكيم إنك لمن المرسلين على صراط مستقيم تنزيل العزيز الرحيم لتنذر قوما ما أنذر آباؤهم فهم غافلون لقد حق القول على أكثرهم فهم لا يؤمنون إِنَّا جَعَلْنَا فِي أَعْنَاقِهِمْ أَغْلَالًا فَهِيَ إِلَى الْأَذْقَانِ فَهُمْ مُكْمَحُونَ وَجَعَلْنَا مِنْ بَيْنِ أَيْدِيهِمْ سَدًّا وَمِنْ خَلْفِهِمْ سَدًّا فَأَغْشَيْنَاهُمْ فَهُمْ لَا يُبْسِرُونَ شاهت الوجوه شاهت الوجوه شاهت الوجوه وعنت الوجوه للحي القيوم وقد خاب من حمل ظلما طاسين حاميم عين قاف مرج البحرين يلتقيان بينهما برزخ لا يبغيان حاميم 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 هم الأمر وجاء النصر فعلينا لا ينصرون حاميم تنزيل الكتاب من الله العزيز العليم غافر الذنب وقابل الطوب شديد العقاب ذي التول لا إله إلا هو إليه المصير بسم الله بابنا تبارك حيطاننا ياسين سقفنا كاف ها يا عين صاد كفايتنا حاميم عين سين قاف حمايتنا فسيكفيكهم الله وهو السميع العليم فسيكفيكهم الله وهو السميع العليم فسيكفيكهم الله وهو السميع العليم ستر العرش مسبول علينا وعين الله ناظرة إلينا 
بحول الله لا يقدر علينا والله من ورائهم محيط بل هو قرآن مجيد في لوح محفوظ فالله خير حافظا وهو أرحم الراحمين فالله خير حافظا وهو أرحم الراحمين فالله خير حافظا وهو أرحم الراحمين إن وليي الله الذي نزل الكتاب وهو يتولى الصالحين إن وليي الله الذي نزل الكتاب وهو يتولى الصالحين إن وليي الله الذي نزل الكتاب وهو يتولى الصالحين حسبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم حسبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم حسبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم بسم الله والحمد لله رب العالمين أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله لطيف بعباده يرزق من يشاء وهو القوي العزيز يا لطيف 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 يا 
latif ya 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 Latif, 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 Ya Latif. Ya Latif, 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 Ya Latif. يا لطيفا بخلقه يا عليما بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه الطف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير يا لطيفا بخلقه يا عليما بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه الطف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير يا لطيفا بخلقه يا عليما بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه الطف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير اللهم يا من لطفت في خلق السماوات والأرض ولطفت بالأجنة في بطون أمهاتها ألطف بنا لطفا يليك بكرمك ورحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين يا الله اللهم يا من جعلت الصلاة على النبي من القربات نتقرب إليك بكل صلاة سليت عليه من أول النشأة إلى ما لا نهاية من الكمالات بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يسوق الخير إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يصرف السوء إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يسوق الخير إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يصرف السوء إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يسوق الخير إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يصرف السوء إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم وي 
يستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه في كل لمحة ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه في كل لمحة ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم كريم وعلى اله وصحبه في كل لمحه ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك ان شاء الله كنتني وذكر جامعه لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحه ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله إن شاء الله ميك دعانا اللهم أمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما بركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for our Shaykh, teacher, Murshid, and Master, Sayyidina Shaykh Faisal Hamid Abdul Razak. O oh Allah, may you increase him in knowledge and wisdom. O oh Allah, may you protect him from evil, and we pray that he will lead his marids on the straight path towards you. O oh Allah, we pray for the Shaykh and his family. We pray that you strengthen them in Iman, keep them in good health, and grant them long life in Islam. O oh Allah, we pray that you protect them from all evil, ease their trials, and grant them the sweetness of paradise. 
ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقينا عذاب النار Allah forgive us for our sins and guide us on this trip path leading to paradise O oh Allah you know the needs of all of us present here O oh Allah answer our dua and take care of our needs O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we pray for our parents that you grant them your grace and mercy as they raise us in childhood O oh, oh Allah grant our parents long life and good health in Islam O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our parents and grant them paradise O oh Allah, for our parents who have passed away and returned to you, O oh Allah, we beg you to forgive them. O oh Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for all the merits of Shaykh Faisal throughout the world. O oh Allah, we pray that you ease our trials and, us, and grant us the strength to face our trials. O oh Allah, make it easy for us to gain true knowledge and to practice it, to be good merits and to get ever closer to you. O oh Allah, you know the needs of all of the merits. O oh Allah, we beg you to answer our, our dua and take care of our needs. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for all the Muslims around the world. O oh Allah, we pray that you strengthen us in Iman. O oh Allah, we pray for unity and to make us stronger as a nation. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, please comfort and relieve all Muslims who are suffering and have suffered losses. O oh Allah, you are the all-powerful and the almighty. O oh Allah, we beg you to give us victory against the unbelievers. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for the International Islamic Forum and al fasl and Dhikr Halaqa. May you make it easy for us to establish many messages for your sake. May you bless the Islamic form and then facilitate the Dhikr Halakha to be a beacon of, to be a beacon of light for Islam throughout the world. And may help us to finish building the new masjid soon and make it easy for us to do so. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadan wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursani walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله الله مفتع علينا فتوه العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت يا حي يا قيوم تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا سهلا اللهم أعزنا من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا وأصلح لنا شأننا كله لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد My dear respected brothers and sisters My dear Mureeds Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you and welcome once again to our special daily broadcast, the special blessed program coming to you from the Islamic Forum of Canada where we share with you this message of mercy from God Almighty to all of his creation. We thank you for joining our program today. Remember, this program starts at 7 p.m. Toronto time, coming to you from our Zawiya here at the Islamic Forum of Canada. Uh, we kindly request you to reach out to others, uh, your family members, your relatives, your friends, other Muslims you know, and encourage them to watch the program, 7 p.m. Toronto time. Share the YouTube link with them, inshallah, they watch the program, they will benefit from the program and you will receive increased blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also, we kind of request you to enter your information in, 
into the chat, your name and the city where you're from, and your response to the different projects. Uh, we want to uh, make special dua today in our program for all our donors, all those who donated today, yesterday, and before, all our donors without exception. We make special of all of them uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless their families, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless their loved ones because of their donation to the Islamic Forum. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase them uh, in his sustenance, in his risk, increase their wealth uh, because of their donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, once again, we remind you that uh, our focus on this program, our interest, it is your safety, your well-being, uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can keep you in the best of states in Afia, firstly, and then secondly, your spirituality, your connection, your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And so the different items of this, pro this program, they are geared towards achieving these two main focus of our program, your safety and your well-being, as well as your spirituality. We have several projects that uh, we, we are encouraging you to participate in, to be an active part of. Uh, the, the Quran project for you to recite the Quran every day, at least one page, a Salawat project, you recite Salawat on the Prophet ﷺ every day, the gratitude project to, uh, you know, every day uh, remind yourself about what you're grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, and also the Dawah project, the fourth thing I want to mention to you, the Dawah project, which is for you to engage in other, with others to invite them to the program to look at this program inshallah we, we every day we remind you to do so and so that's what we refer to as the dawah project to reach out to your family members your relatives your friends other muslims you know tell them about the program encourage them to watch your program and fifthly the infarct pro uh, project the infarct project and today i want to say something about this in fact the infarct project in fact meaning to spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 245, مَنْ ذَا الَّذِي يُقْرِدُ اللَّهَ قَرْضًا حَسَنًا فَيُدَعِفَهُ لَهُ أَدْعَافًا كَثِيرًا وَاللَّهُ يَقْبِدُ وَيَبُسُدُ وَإِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ Who is it that will loan to Allah a beautiful loan? which Allah will double onto his credit and multiply many times. It is Allah that gives you want or plenty, and to him shall be your return. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayah talks about uh, the loan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the kard or kard hasana, the loan that you give to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not need anything from us, but this is a way for us to benefit ourselves, for us to gain great blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the scholars have mentioned five stages of rewards for the believers, for the, in fact, the, the, the spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they give, spending their wealth, a portion of their wealth for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Five stages of rewards that I want to share with you today. Firstly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And whoever does an atom weight of good will see it. Whoever does an atom weight of good will see it. You do something, no matter how small that deed is, you will see the reward with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When this ayah was revealed, in hadith is mentioned that the Prophet ﷺ made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase the rewards for his followers, for his ummah, for the believers. That they would spend for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they would get more rewards. At this first level, one, one to one. One good deed, uh, you get uh, one blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No matter how small that good deed is, uh, an atom's weight. No matter how small your in fact, your spending way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, you will get, you will see that reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, uh, in response to this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals the second stage of rewards for the believers, 
for spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in the Quran, مَنْ جَاءَ بِالْحَسَنَةِ فَلَهُ عَشْرُ أَمْثَالُهَا عَشْرُ أَمْثَالِهَا مَنْ جَاءَ بِالْحَسَنَةِ فَلَهُ عَشْرُ أَمْثَالِهَا Whoever does a good deed shall have ten times the reward for it. So now at the second level, each good deed, you reward it ten times more for this. Through the mercy of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and through this dua of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And when this ayah was revealed, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, compensate my ummah even more than that. Look at how the Prophet is concerned about us and for us. He says, Ya Allah, compensate, reward my ummah more than that for the good deed that they're doing. And then the next ayah was revealed, which is the third level of rewarders, third stage of reward for the believers. Many rewards, more than ten for one good deed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals, in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 245. مَنْ ذَا الَّذِي يُقْرِدُ اللَّهَ قَرْضًا حَسَنًا فَيُدَاعِفَهُ أَدْعَافًا كَثِيرًا Who is it that will loan to Allah a beautiful loan so that Allah will multiply His rewards many times? Who is that person? that will loan to Allah a beautiful loan so that Allah will multiply his rewards many times. So now, uh, at the first level, one to one. Second level, uh, ten good rewards for one. And then now many, more than ten, for the one good deed that you do. Uh, to spend with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who would give this loan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? This card hasana. Uh, the, and once again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the scholars have mentioned in tafsir that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need anything from His creation. He is free of needs. But this is a way for Him to encourage us to do good deeds so that He can reward us more. He can reward us more. When this ayah was revealed, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again. Ya Allah, compensate my ummah with more than that. Reward my ummah with more than that. And then the next level was given to the believers, the next ayah, for the, the fourth level now, the fourth level. At the first level, once again, one good deed, you get one reward. Uh, the second level, ten rewards for, for one good deed. At the third level, many rewards, many more re rewards, more than ten. And now the fourth level, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ كَمَثَلِ حَبَّةٍ أَنْبَتَتْ سَبْعَ سَنَابِلَ فِي كُلِّ سُنْبُلَةٍ مِئَةُ حَبَّةٍ وَاللَّهُ يُضَاعِفُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءٍ وَاللَّهُ وَاسِعٌ عَلِيمٌ Surah Al-Baqarah, ayah number 261. At this fourth level now, fourth stage of rewards of the believers, 700 rewards for one good deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayah says, The likeness of those who spend their wealth in the way of Allah is that of a grain of corn. A grain of corn. It grows seven ears, and each ear has a hundred grains. So one grain grows seven ears or branches. In each year, there are 100 grains. So that 7 by 100, that's 700. And Allah gives manifold increase to whomever He wills. And Allah SWT increase more than that to whomever He wants. And Allah is all-embracing, all, all all-knowing. So the, the scholars of the, you mentioned that you, you get this 700 rewards for one good deed. And then Allah SWT gives more than that, 700 more 1400, 2100, 2800, 3500, it goes on and on. And they said it depends now on your level of sincerity. That how sincere you are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you give your deed, when you uh, give 
your infaq, your charity, your donation, sadaqah for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because uh, people may have different niyyah and so on. But the, the, the more pure your niyyah is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the greater you reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, as the Prophet mentions that, among the greatest of virtuous good deeds you can do is to give charity with your right hand and your left hand doesn't know what you're doing. The left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. In other words, secretly, you, you do this only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this way, that you want to keep doing good deeds for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So look at the great rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 700 times. Imagine that level of returns on investment. Today in society, for the dunya investment, when people do investment and they hear about returns on investment, if they can get 10%, they feel very happy about that. 15%, even more happy. 20%, oh, they grab that opportunity right away. Here, Los Montel is telling us 700% returns on your investment. Each good deed you do for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, rewarded 700 times, and that's minimum. They increase over that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Wallahu yudha'ifu li man yasha. In, in this way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant multiple incre increases to whomever He wants. And so you want to try to do your, your, your in fact, your spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your sadaqa charity in the best way possible. In the best way possible. There is the beautiful uh, hadith of uh, Sayyidah Fatima to Zahra, radiallahu anha, wa alayhi salam, that when, when someone came to her to beg for something, uh, and she would give them something, even though she was in need most of the time, but she was so generous that she would, would share with them. When she's giving sadaqa charity, uh, she would wrap it in a piece of green cloth, perfume it, and then she give it to that person in that beautiful way. And then some of the Sahabas ask her why, and she said, when, when I give this charity, this sadaka, to someone, when I give charity to, to someone, it reaches the hands of Allah before it reaches the hand of that person. So she wants to present it to Allah in this beautiful way. Look at this great example of the beloved daughter of the beloved Prophet Sayyidah Fatima to Zahra radiallahu anha wa alayhi salam. How she would be in this way. And so at this fourth level, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ يُنْفِكُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ كَمَثَلِ حَبَّةٍ أَنْبَتَتْ سَبْعَ سَنَابِلَ فِي كُلِّ سُنْبُلَةٍ مِئَةُ حَبَّةٍ وَاللَّهُ يُضَعِفُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ وَاللَّهُ وَاسِعٌ عَلِيمٌ Yes, 700 times you're rewarded for that one good deed of spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yet again, when this ayah was revealed, the Prophet ﷺ made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Allah, compensate my ummah with more than that. Look at the concern of the Prophet ﷺ for us. He wants more and more for us to get the rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he's making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Allah, grant more rewards to my ummah for the good deeds that they do. And then the, the fifth and final level, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in the Quran in Surah Az-Zumar, chapter 39, verse 10, when he says, إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرَهُمْ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابِ Those who patiently persevere and are steadfast will receive limitless rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Without limit. Different people, depending on their uh, they suffer, they patiently persevere and are steadfast. Depending on how much they do this, the rewards are limitless from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرَهُمْ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابِ Those who patiently persevere and are steadfast will receive boundless, limitless rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
more than 700 times, no limit. This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responds to us. Because of the Prophet sallallahu his dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that the Prophet wants us to receive great rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we would be the best of ummah on the Day of Judgment. That we will excel. And so I want you to remember this so you strive to excel. So that the Prophet will be pleased with you. You'll make the Prophet happy. The more you strive for Islam, the more you strive for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more you spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so the, the, the five uh, stages of rewards for the believers for spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for infaq. And this is, this is what we call the infaq project that you must strive to be part of, inshallah. So, one reward for one good deed, first level. Second level, ten rewards for the one good deed. Third level, many more rewards, more than ten for one good deed. Fourth level, seven hundred rewards for one good deed. And the fifth and final level, rewards without any limit for one good deed. How you are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Where is your sincerity with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Uh, this is what we should strive to do, inshallah. I want to share with you this beautiful hadith of a practice of one of the noble companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sayyidina Abu Dhar al-Ghifari radiallahu anhu. Great companion. Uh, was so dedicated, especially his focus on spirituality. And there were some of the sahabas who were like that. And they received more gifts from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about spirituality, about tasawwuf. And, and they convey that knowledge to us. Ahead of them, Sayyidina Imam Ali, Karamallahu wajahuhu wa alayhi salam. And this hadith, this pra- it's a practice of Sayyidina Abu Dhar al ghifari that in Masjid al-Nabawi, Masjid al-Prophet in Medina, in those days, uh, after each salah, he would, the sahabas would pray in the masjid. After they pray in the masjid, then when he finished performing salah, he would give sadaqah. The poor people who are there uh, and so on, he give sadaqah, give charity, donation, charity to them to help them. After each and every salah, five times a day, after fajr, after dhuhr, after maghrib, after uh, fajr, dhuhr, asr, maghrib, isha, five salah. And then the other sahabs ask him about this. Why is he doing this? Why? Uh, they notice after each and every salah, he's doing his, his charity giving charity. And he says to them, do you not read the book of Allah? In the book of Allah, in the Quran, whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to pray, he also commands us to spend in the way of Allah. وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَى وَآتُ zakat. And zakat is a generic concept here for all types of charity. Zakat, sadaqat, khairat, lilla, and so on and so forth. So, when you look at the Quran now, wherever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding us to pray, He is also commanding us to spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fact, spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we should be mindful of. And so this is a great project for you to be part of, to in fact project to spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for Sayyidina Abu Dhar, he wasn't a, a, a very wealthy person. There are many other sahabas more wealthier than him. But whatever little he could afford, he would do that. So it is not difficult for you to spend something every day for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, whatever little you can do, you do that. But it's a great thing to do, great blessings. The Prophet says, every day that the sun shines, the sun rises, it becomes incumbent on um, you to do sadaqah. Uh, so there's no day that the sun doesn't rise. So every day a day of sadaqah for you. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you to be from among Ahlul Infaq, those who would spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can grant you ziyadah, can grant you more and more from his bounties, from his blessings, from his rizq, from his ni'mah. Ameen, ameen, ameen. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'een. Wa salamu alaykum. Bismillahi rahman rahim wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. We 
start a new series today uh, on the virtues, the, the life of Sayyidah Fatima the Zahra, Rajullahu Anha wa alayhi salam, the beloved daughter of the beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the reason for this is uh, in this month of Jumad Thani, and specifically the 22nd of Jumad Thani, is the Yawmul Wilad, the day of birth of Sayyidah Fatima al Zahra. And so we, we want to share with you some reflections on her life. Uh, some of the great virtues of Sayyidah Fatima al Zahra uh, mentioned by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. On this occasion as well, it is good to, uh, to send salams upon her, to recite the greetings of salams upon her, and to recite salawat on her behalf. The, the same salawat that we recite every day uh, from the word al-am, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabi al-ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim to recite that uh, on behalf of Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra. So as part of your ongoing salawat project, uh, on, on this occasion, these days of the month of Jumad uh, al on the occasion of the Yawmul Wilada of Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra, you can include this now in your niyya of reciting the salawat, that you're doing it on behalf of Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra, convey the blessings to her with that niyya and uh, your blessings are increased in that way. And then to, uh, to uh, convey or to recite salams upon her, uh, greetings upon a Sayyidah Fatima Zahra. Uh, in the following way, we, we want to do this now, inshallah, uh, and to encourage you to do so, uh, that you would gain spiritual nearness, spiritual closeness, a kurba ruhi, to a Sayyidah Fatima Zahra. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyida Fatima da Zahra. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyida Fatima da Zahra, ya Binta Rasul. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyida Fatima da Zahra, ya Bidatam Minan Nubuwa. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyida Fatima da Zahra, ya Sayyida Tanisa il Alameen. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyida Fatima Fatima til Batul. Assalamu alaikum ya Sayyida Fatima al-Abida Assalamu alaikum ya Sayyida Fatima al-Alima Assalamu alaikum ya Sayyida Fatima al-Muallima Assalamu alaikum ya Sayyida Fatima al-Tahira Assalamu alaikum ya Sayyida Fatima al-Tayyiba Assalamu alaikum ya Sayyida Fatima al-Zahra alayha salam to recite those words of greetings for a Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra, that you should try to do as much as you can. Great indeed are the blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra is the best women of creation, uh, the best of the women in the dunya, the best of the women in the akhirah, in Jannah, and so on. Many are her great virtues. And so we want to share with you something about her life in our lecture uh, today in this uh, new series about uh, Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to follow in her footsteps. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless, bless us to benefit from her great deeds. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with increased love and mahabba for uh, Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra, the beloved daughter of our beloved Prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ameen. Ameen. A'udhu billahi sami al-alimi min ash-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillahi rahman rahim Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Wa ashadu an la ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika la. 
وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتع علينا فتوه العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت يا حي يا قيوم تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا سهلا اللهم أعزنا من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا وأصلح لنا شأننا كله لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد my dear respected brothers and sisters, I greet you all with the greetings of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. And welcome once again to our uh, special program where we share with you this message of mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from God Almighty to all of His creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in the Qur'an this ayah of Mawadda where the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam is telling us Kul la as'alukum alayhi ajran illa al-mawaddata fil qurba So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the Prophet say to the believers I ask of you nothing in return for all that I've done for you except for one thing, and that is al mawaddata fil qurba, love of my family, love of my family. And so, the, the love of Ahlul Bayt, the love of the family of the Prophet ﷺ, is a cardinal principle, a central focus in our deen, in the way of the believer, that we love the, the Prophet ﷺ and we love his family. And many are the great virtues that the Prophet ﷺ mentioned about his family. We share with you today some of these virtues regarding Sayyidah Fatima Zahra, the beloved daughter of the Prophet ﷺ. She loved her father tremendously and she lived through the ups and downs of his life uh, as a prophet. Uh, she was born uh, before he uh, received uh, the revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, she witnessed all of the, uh, the events in those early days in Mecca uh, when the Prophet alayhi salatu salam was treated in such a bad way by the Quraysh, the people of Mecca. She endured all of that and uh, continuing throughout the Meccan phase of the Dawah and then in Medina, uh, she lived through all the events in the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. As Sayyidah Aisha, radiallahu anha, the beloved wife of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, narrates that the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, during the illness, his final illness, in which he passed away. So this is now towards the end, the actual end of the earthly life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He says, O Fatima, Sallamu Allahi Alaiha, O Fatima, are you not pleased with the fact that you are the leader of the women of all the worlds? You are the leader of the women of all the worlds. Allah taradina an takuni Sayyidat Nisa al Alameen. And the leader of the women of this Ummah, the Muslim nation. 
and, and the leader of the women of all believers. So in this hadith, the Prophet وسلم, is mentioning to a Sayyida Fatima al-Zahra or about a Sayyida Fatima al-Zahra. And this hadith is narrated by a Sayyida Aisha radiallahu anha, the Ummul Mu'mineen, mother of the believers, the, uh, the wife of the Prophet وسلم, That firstly, you, you, O Fatima, you are the leader of the women of all the worlds, of all of creation. And secondly, you're the lead of the women of this ummah, the Muslim ummah, the leader of the, the women of this Muslim ummah. And thirdly, the lead of the women of all the believers, all the believers that came before uh, that Sayyidina Fatima, radiallahu uh, anha wa alayhi salam, is the leader of, of the women of all the believers in the time of the previous prophets and so on. She is uh, above them, superior to them, their leader. So, amazing virtues that are mentioned about a Sayyidah Fatima the Zahra. Then again, Sayyidina Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, radiallahu anhu, narrates about the verse in the Quran. Innama yuridu Allahu liyudhiba ankum urijisa ahl al-bayt. Allah only desires to keep you away from all kinds of impurity from you, O people of the house. So this ayah, called the ayah of purification, uh, that the Ahlul Bayt were purified by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيُذْهِبَ عَنْكُمُ رِجِّسَ أَهْلَ الْبَيْتِ Allah only desires to keep away all kinds of impurity from you, O people of the house, meaning, O family of the Prophet And the scholars have mentioned, Allah SWT says He wants to keep away all impurities from you, then that will happen. Because whatever Allah SWT wants will come to pass. No one can stop that from happening. The power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is kun fayakun, be and it is. So, here in this ayah, in this verse in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to keep away all impurities from you, meaning that you would only, you would be purified and be kept pure. And then Sayyidina Abu Sayyid al Al Khudri said that this was this I was revealed in honor of the following five personalities: the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa wasallam; secondly, Sayyidina Ali; thirdly, Sayyidatna Fatima the Zahra; fourthly, uh, Al Imam Al Hasan; and fifthly, Al Imam Al Hussein. Referred to in other places, the Holy Five, five individuals that are mentioned referred to in this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purified them. The Prophet وسلم, who is the best of creation, Rasulullah وسلم, who is ma'asum, who is infallible, free from sins, and then uh, uh, Sayyidina Ali, his son-in-law, and his uh, young cousin who grew up in his home as well, and then his beloved daughter, Sayyida Fatima the Zahra, and then their two children, Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein. This ayah was revealed in honor of them, these five personalities. And then in another hadith, the third of the hadith that we want to share with you today to mention these great virtues of a Sayyidina Fatima Zahra. Sayyidina Hudayfa, radiallahu anhu, narrates that the Holy Prophet said, there is an angel who before tonight had never come down to the earth. He asked permission from his Lord Allah SWT to offer salam, salutations to me. And to deliver the good news to me that Fatima is the leader of all women of paradise. 
and Hassan radiallahu anhu and Hussein radiallahu anhu alayhi salam are the leaders of all the young people of paradise. So the, the, the Prophet sallam, says that uh, this, this special angel who had never before come down to the earth, he asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala permission to give salams to the Prophet sallallahu and to deliver the good news that Fatima is the leader of the women of Jannah of Paradise. Sayyidina Fatima Zahra, the leader of all the women of Jannah of Paradise. Sayyidina Fatima Zahra, Sayyidat Nisa al Ahlil Jannah. And that Al Imam Hassan, Imam Hussein, her sons, two sons, are the leaders of the young people of Jannah. Wa anna al Hassan wal Hussein, Sayyida. Shabab Ahlil Jannah. The Shabab, the young people of Jannah, they are the leaders of them. Imam Hussain, Imam Hussain. And, and this is, of course, an honor for Sayyid Fatima Zahra because these are her children. Imam, Imam Hassan, Imam Hussain, these are the children of Sayyid Fatima Zahra. And they are given such a great rank by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the leader of the young people of of Jannah. And she, Sayyidah Fatima Zahra, radiallahu anha wa alayhi salam, is the leader of all the women of Jannah. Yet again, in the fourth hadith, we want to share with you on this, uh, on the beautiful, amazing virtues, the fada'il of Sayyidah Fatima Zahra. Sayyidina Jabir ibn Abdullah, radiallahu anhu, narrates that the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the Messenger of Allah, said, my daughter Fatima, my daughter was named Fatima because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has totally separated her and those who love her from the fire of hell. So that's the meaning of Fatima, uh, from, from that root word Fatima, Fatima. She was named this because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this concept of Fatima, se separated her and those who love her from the fire of hell. So this is amazing news now for all of us that we love a Sayyidah Fatima Zahra. And it's also encouragement for us to build in our heart, to strengthen in our heart, our mahabba, our love for a Sayyidah Fatima Zahra. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has totally separated her and those who love her from the fire of hell. What great news for all of us indeed. And so you want to strive to increase your mahabba, increase your love for a Sayyida Fatima to Zahra. And one of the tested ways of doing this is to do the two things uh, we, we've mentioned. First of all, to give salams upon her, to give salams upon her. And secondly, to recite salawat on her behalf. So you are doing this salawat project, you're reciting salawat every day. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. You recite that salawat. And you include in your niya now that you want to recite it on behalf of Sayyidina Fatima al-Zahra. You, you do this as much as you can on her behalf, with the need of conveying the blessings, irsal al-thawab or isal al-thawab to Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra, conveyed blessings or recited on her behalf. And then you would find that you, your love for Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra will increase tremendously as you do this. And secondly, to give greetings to her, to give to send greetings to her, uh, such as to recite Assalamu alaikum ya Sayyida Fatima to Zahra, that you recite this uh, salams that you recite for her on behalf. Imagine you are in her presence. She 
is uh, in the maqam of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She lived right next to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And so you uh, imagine you are in her presence and you, you're sending uh, salams upon her. Assalamu alaikum ya Sayyida Fatima al-Zahra. Assalamu alaikum ya Sayyida Fatima al-Zahra ya bint al-Rasul. Assalamu alaikum ya Sayyida Fatima al-Zahra ya bid'atan min al-Nubuwa. Assalamu alaikum ya Sayyida Fatima al-Zahra ya Sayyida Nisa al-Alamin. Assalamu alaikum ya Sayyida Fatima Fatima al-Batul. Assalamu alaikum ya Sayyida Fatima al-Abida. Assalamu alaikum ya Sayyida Fatima al-Alima. Assalamu alaikum ya Sayyida Fatima al-Muallima. Assalamu alaikum ya Sayyida Fatima al-Tahira. Assalamu alaikum ya Sayyida Fatima al-Tayyiba. In in this way as you recite special uh, salams upon uh, Sayyidina Fatima al-Zahra. So you keep doing this as much as you can and you would find, see that this mahabba in your heart, this love in your heart for Sayyidina Fatima al-Zahra will increase. That you feel closer and closer to her in this way. And uh, the, the, the Prophet Ali says, my daughter was named Fatima because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has totally separated her and those who love her from the fire of hell. Great indeed the virtues of Sayyidina Fatima Zahra and the, the great news for us, the bushra, the glad tidings for us, for the believers uh, that, uh, that we love Sayyidina Fatima Zahra and so we want to increase our mahabba for her. Remember, the, the Prophet Ali, the, the one thing he uh, asked of us is al mawaddata fil qurba, to love his family. The, among the great maqam or spiritual status of uh, Sayyidina Fatima Zahra is what the Prophet Ali mentioned in the hadith, uh, Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Umar. Rajulahu anhu narrates that whenever the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went on a journey, when he would leave Medina for different expeditions, the last person he would speak to from his family before setting off would be Sayyida Fatima Zahra Alayhi Salam. Yes, when he would leave to go out on any of the expeditions and so on. Uh, the last person he would uh, bid farewell to is Sayyidina Fatima Zahra, then he would leave. And when the Prophet وسلم, returned from a journey, when he returned back to Medina, the first person that the Prophet وسلم, would come to meet would be Sayyidina Fatima Zahra. The, the tremendous love and attachment and connection he had with his beloved daughter. Such was a great uh, maqam and spiritual status of Sayyida Fatima al-Zahra. And the, the Prophet alayhi uh, would say to her, O oh, Fatima, my mother and father be sacrificed for you. Fidaka abi wa ummi. It's, it's an expression used in Arabic to, uh, to give honor to the person, to show how much you care for them, how much you hold them in high esteem. In this way, this is what the Prophet, the Prophet ﷺ, how he uh, felt towards his beloved daughter, uh, how he treated her. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless her, uh, Sayyidina Fatima Zahra, that she became uh, the vehicle for the continuation of the progeny of the Prophet wasallam. And among the uh, esteem status as well is that uh, Sayyidina Fatima Zahra is a part of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sayyidina Miswar ibn Makrama radiallahu anhu narrates that the Messenger of Allah Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Fatima is a part of me, therefore whoever angers her angers me. 
فاطمة بدعات مني فمن أغضبها أغضبني This is an amazing hadith of the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام where you're saying that the Sayyid of Fatima Zahra is a part of me. Now we know this, she is his daughter. But he emphasizes this point. He mentioned it by way of emphasis. He mentioned it to emphasize this point. He mentioned it to point out for us this important role of a Sayyida Fatima the Zahra, that she is truly part of him. And uh, this, uh, in the, the Arabic, they say al juz I mean, al kul that this part is from the whole and it's representative of the whole, of the entire thing. So, uh, Sayyidah Fatima Zahra is a part of me, meaning she represents all of me. That's the implication of it. The importance of a Sayyidah Fatima to Zahra. Then, yet in a, again in another hadith, Sayyidina Muhammad ibn Ali Rajallahu who narrates that the Messenger of Allah Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said Indeed Fatima is a part of me hence whosoever angers her angers me The same meaning is mentioned again by and narrated by another of the companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam So firstly Fatima tu bid'atum minni that Sayyidina Fatima Zahra is a part of me. Uh, and a, a, among the spiritual implication of that is that she's representative of her father. She, uh, she occupies this maqam, this special maqam. And then to illustrate this point, the Prophet ﷺ mentions in the hadith, therefore, whoever angers her angers me. Whoever angers her, angers me. That if, if uh, someone causes a Sayyidah Fatima Zahra to anger with them, they do something, say something, that she's angry with them, then the Prophet is angry with them as well to, to show the importance of her status for us and how we should relate to a Sayyidah Fatima Zahra. Yet again, in the next hadith, in uh, part seven of these beautiful virtues and fada'il of a Sayyida Fatima al Zahra, the Prophet وسلم, used to stand up for her. So, Ummul Mu'mineen, a Sayyida Aisha, the mother of the believers, narrates that when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to see Fatima coming, he would welcome her. Then he would stand up for her. Then he would kiss her, and some narration, on the forehead. He would bring her inside by holding her hand and seat her in his own place. Like this. And whenever a Sayyidah Fatima Zahra saw the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam arrive, she used to welcome him, stand up for him, and kiss the Prophet Sallallahu in other narration says on the forehead, in this way. So a reciprocal behavior. So Sayyidah Aisha, Rajallahu Anha, Ummul Mu'mineen, the mother of the believers and the beloved wife of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, she narrated this because she would notice this. Now this is uh, in, in, in their home now, that uh, when the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he used to see Fatima coming uh, to into his home to visit him. And remember, uh, she was living uh, right next to him. Uh, and the, the, the scholars have said that the Prophet ﷺ uh, let her live next to him so that she would not be far away. There was just a wall between the home of the Prophet ﷺ, the Hudra, uh, uh, the home of, of Sayyid Aisha, and the uh, home of Sayyidah Sayyid Fatima to Zahra radiallahu anha. So when the Prophet would see her coming, he would welcome her. Uh, he would stand up for her. The Prophet stand up for his daughter, Sayyidah Fatima to Zahra, kiss her on the forehead, 
bring her inside, holding her hand, and seat her in his own place where he was sitting down. Put her to sit down there in his own place where he his seat. Give it to Sayyidah Fatima Zahra. Imagine this, very uh, so amazing how the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would uh, treat his beloved daughter, Sayyidah Fatima Zahra, Radiallahu Anha. And uh, then uh, look at what Sayyidah Fatima will do now when, whenever Sayyidah Fatima Zahra, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, wa alayhi salam. When she saw the Holy Prophet Sallallahu arrive, like he is coming to visit her, so she used to welcome him. Uh, sometimes uh, they would mention the, the beautiful words of welcome, ahlan wa sahlan, uh, stand up for him. And part of the welcome also, salams, give salams, which is, uh, this is what they would do most of the time, the greetings of salams, because this is also dua, salamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, it's, it's also a dua that it's a greeting, a greeting, peace be upon you. And then uh, the dua is that praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bestow peace upon you as well and blessings and mercy. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu and so on. The, the way they would greet them and welcome. And then she, so she welcomed her father, the Prophet, she would stand up for him and she would kiss him on the forehead in this way, to honor the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The great ways of how she would treat her father. And she loved him tremendously. She loved him tremendously. Even in the days of Mecca, the people of Mecca, the Quraysh in Mecca, they, they gave her a, a nickname, Um Abiha. Um Abiha, the mother of her father. And this is especially after the passing of her mother. As Sayyidah Khadija al Kubra, Rajullahu Anha wa alayhi salam, that the, the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, uh, he uh, loved his wife tremendously, and then his wife passed away, uh, tenth year into the prophethood, the period of prophethood. Now, the, the uh, Sayyida Fatima Zahra, she witnessed all those early years of the Dawah. And she, uh, she saw how Quraysh would, uh, was treating uh, her, her father. And she was brought to tears on many occasions, Sayyida Fatima Zahra when she would notice how they would uh, treat uh, her father, uh, who only wanted good for his people, inviting them to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He wanted good for them, that they would uh, gain the blessings in this dunya, and especially salvation in the hereafter. That's what he wanted for his people, that uh, they would believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they would worship and obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that they can gain uh, success and salvation in the dunya and in the akhirah, that they would be prevented from the, or protected from the punishment of, of Jahannam, of hellfire, and they would be blessed with Jannah. He wanted good for them and he invited them to Islam, to the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but they treated him in a terrible way the people of Mecca, the Quraysh, in those early years, and, and she, uh, she witnessed, them, witnessed this. Uh, and on, on, so uh, th th this treatment, this love that she had for her father, caused the people of Mecca to give her this nickname, Um Abiha, the mother of her father, because she, would, she loved him so much, she treated him in such a good way. On one occasion, uh, the Prophet ﷺ was praying at the Kaaba, and while he was praying there, uh, some, some people, wicked, evil people, they, they threw dust on him. And he came home like this with dust on his head and his face. And uh, as she was wiping the dust away from her father, she was crying uh, in this way. Uh, a young girl at that time, 
she went through all of this uh, that she experienced and witnessed uh, how the people treated her father uh, in this way. Uh, she, she loved her father tremendously uh, and was, was with him every step of the way uh, in, in this life after he uh, received revelation and people started to treat him so terribly. She was with him every step of the way. Then now she achieved all of this the greatness. The, the Prophet Alayhi Salaam is describing her as the best of the women of his ummah, of the entire Muslim ummah from beginning to end. She is the leader of the women of this ummah. She is the leader of all believing women, including all those believing women that came before our ummah in the time of the previous Prophet all of them, and they were great uh, women who came before, uh, but she is the leader of all of them, of all believing women, and that she is the leader of all the women of creation, and that she is the leader of the women of Jannah, of paradise. All of these great virtues are mentioned about a Sayyidah, Fatima al-Zahra radiallahu anha wa alayha salam and when she passed away she was only 29 years of age only 29 years of age and in that short period of time she achieved this greatness and the secret of it was her love for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes, that's the secret of this greatness that she achieved, that she became the best of women. Uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala raised her maqam in this way that only 29 years she lived for. When she passed with that young age of 29 years. And by that time, she had achieved all of this greatness. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala elevated her in the dunya and in the akhirah, as Sayyida Fatima al Zahra, radiallahu anha wa alayha salam. And so, once again, we want to uh, uh, recite uh, salawat upon her once and then to recite greetings upon her. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help, uh, help us to uh, follow in her footsteps, benefit from her great deeds, and love her more and more and more. اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم and we send greetings upon her السلام عليكم يا سيدة فاطمة الزهراء السلام عليكم يا سيدة فاطمة الزهراء يا بنت الرسول السلام عليكم يا سيدة فاطمة الزهراء يا بضعة من النبوة السلام عليكم يا سيدة فاطمة الزهراء يا سيدة النساء العالمين السيدة السلام عليكم يا سيدة فاطمة البطول السلام عليكم يا سيدة فاطمة العابدة السلام عليكم يا سيدة فاطمة العالمة السلام عليكم يا سيدة فاطمة المعلمة السلام عليكم يا سيدة فاطمة الطاهرة السلام عليكم يا سيدة فاطمة الطيبة السلام عليكم يا سيدة فاطمة الزهراء رضي الله عنها وعليها السلام and so I want to uh, encourage you to continue to do this as much as you can. Because every time you do this, you get closer to a Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra. And then uh, your love for her will uh, give you, will bless, bless you with the intercession of the Prophet and his family, including a Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra. And may Allah SWT help us to be with them in this dunya and especially to be with them in the Akhirah. 
in genital firdos, in al firdos al a'la. Ameen, ameen, ameen. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in wa akhir da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim inshallah our dua on uh, this blessed night earlier today uh, Jum'a uh, was a special opportunity for great blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for uh, Jum'a today uh, I, I want to we want to thank everyone who joined us today for Jum'a for a live broadcast remember every Friday we start our live broadcast at 1 p.m. for Jum'a, 1 p.m. Toronto time. So we thank everyone who joined us earlier today for Jum'a. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, accept uh, our ibadah, our dua, uh, and help us to do more good deeds for his sake and pleasure. Uh, there, there was a large audience today, as usual, for Jum'a from so many different countries uh, throughout the world. We make dua for all of them and for all of you. And once again, reach out to other Muslims uh, and tell them about Jum'a on Fridays that they can uh, join the broadcast at 1 p.m. and pray Jum'a with us. So thanks once again. And then we have this special appeal for Jum'a. I, I want to make this appeal uh, again today to each and every one of you that uh, once our program concludes today, uh, you can make your uh, Juma donation. Uh, to do so, uh, you can go to the website, inshallah. The uh, admin staff will enter the uh, link for the website, islamformonline.com, uh, and you just click on the Juma appeal button and you make your donation for Juma, inshallah. We, we hope you can all, each one of you, make a generous donation uh, for Juma this week. And also on that same page, the Juma Peel page, uh, there is the option for the recurring donation for Juma. If you would like to make a, ju a donation every Juma, ah, then you can just do one transaction tonight and it would be uh, processed every Friday uh, for you, inshallah. And may Allah SWT bless you for so doing. The uh, text of the wording the, for the uh, Salams on Sayyida Fatima Zahra. It's on our Facebook page. Uh, so uh, you can uh, go to the Facebook page after our broadcast tonight. The link is www.facebook.com forward slash Sheikh Faisal. And the admin staff uh, enter that information in the chat. So it's convenient for you. Just make a note of it, write it down. That you can go to the uh, Facebook page and you get all the wonderful posts about a Sayyidah Fatima Zahra. And then you can, uh, a few things we want to request you to do for the Facebook page. Uh, like the page uh, by clicking on the like button for the page, then follow the page and then turn on notifications for the page. That's for the Facebook page. And then for the post on the page, you like the post and you uh, you can make whatever comments you want to make of the po uh, about the post and then share it with all your social media friends, inshallah, so that m more people can benefit uh, from this knowledge and you can receive increased blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So those are a few things I, uh, we want to request you to do for the Facebook page because uh, you, even though we mentioned it in the lecture, you may not remember all the wordings uh, of the salawat uh, of the salams on a Sayyidah Fatima Zahra. Uh, there's uh, the salams using her names or titles and then uh, the different aspects of her uh, relationship and connection to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Assalamu alaikum, Ya Fatima Zahra, Ya Bint Rasul, 
ya bid'atan min an and so on. This is all th things that she's connected to the Prophet Sallallahu with, that elevates her, her maqam, her spiritual status in the dunya and in the akhirah. So do ma be mindful about that. Three things we mentioned for you to do on behalf of uh, uh, Sayyida Fatima al-Zahra, uh, Rajallahu anha wa alayhi salam. Uh, firstly, uh, the salawat that you can recite on her behalf. And uh, you can include that now uh, uh, for the salawat project. For the salawat project that you're doing, make a need to join the salawat project. You recite your salawat every day. And so in these special days, uh, in this month of Jumada Thaniya, the month of the birth of, the prof of, of Sayyidina Fatima Zahra, uh, you recite your salawat as part of the salawat project, and you also make your niyyah to do this on behalf of a Sayyidina Fatima. You increase your blessings in that way. Uh, secondly, the salams that you would uh, convey to her, Assalamu alaikum ya Fatima al-Zahra, and the other statements of salam that you can do, inshallah. And, and thirdly, to do infaq on her behalf as part of the infaq project uh, that you would make a donation on her behalf uh, within the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, grant her that thawab inshallah so I, I want to remind you of this great opportunity um, we, we have some requests for dua from sister Zarina Fazal uh, she made a donation and on behalf of her, dece her late husband, deceased husband, Kabil Fazal, on behalf of herself, her children, and her parents. And we make do of all of them, inshallah, on behalf of Sister Zarina Fazal. And then um, we want to make do of her with Mursaleen Muhammad, uh, who passed away in, in Guyana. He was involved in an accident and he died from Bushlot. Uh, Mursaleen Muhammad. Uh, we want to make special love for him, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, forgive him, have mercy on him, bless him with Jannah. And also, uh, we want to make uh, dua for uh, the sister of uh, Bibi Shamina Baksh, sister in law, sister in law of Bibi Shamina Baksh, uh, teacher Bibi Baksh from New York, who passed away three years ago. Uh, we make dua for her on this occasion. And then, uh, sister Halima Khan Dubey. Uh, request made a donation on behalf of uh, several individuals. We want to mention them and include them in du'a. Uh, she, she says, uh, this is Salima Kandube. My donation today is for, and now this is the Juma donation that she made today for Juma and the Juma appeal, and then specific request for du'a that I, I mention it, so we can have that near for our du'a uh, uh, that we'll do soon, inshallah. My donation to this from our deceased parents, husband, children, and our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi daughter, as Sayyidi Fatima Zahra. Uh, please include in your dua, my beloved father and mother, Abdul Rahim Khan and Safiran Khan. My husband, Muhammad Ahmad Karimullah, uh, or Karimullah. Uh, my beloved children, Sharon Nisa Karimullah, Muhammad Shiraz Karimullah, Muhammad Fazal Karimullah. And then uh, our beloved Prophet's daughter, Sayyida Fatima Zahra. Alhamdulillah, this is very nice. Uh, the, she made the, the request to do for her, her family members and also included Sayyida Fatima Zahra. I, I, you know, I want to encourage all of you to do this. And it, th this is good. You can email us, uh, send us an email uh, saying that you, you made a donation for different family members. Uh, you can list their names and so on. Parents, especially if your parents have passed away or grandparents have passed away, it's good to make dua for them. So you do that, that sadaqah on their behalf the, as part of the infact project. And then you include a Sayyidina Fatima Zahra as part of that dua, inshallah. So uh, these are some of the requests. Also, we have requests for dua, uh, Siti Arifa. Uh, for her mother on, on the fifth uh, death anniversary. So we make the dua for the mother of Siti Arif on the fifth de death anniversary. Uh, Sister Razia Khan requesting dua for Uncle Fazal. Uh, Sister Roxana Begum and her family and her sister make dua for them. Uh, Brother Nuruddin Muhammad requesting dua for mother in law 80th birthday. And, and uh, for our dinner program tonight, we make dua for the admin staff who they sponsor the dinner program tonight. May Allah bless them for so doing, alhamdulillah. 
Then our donors, I want to make special uh, dua for all our donors, those who donated today, uh, there are many brothers and sisters who responded to the Jum'a appeal. If you haven't done so, I want to make this special appeal to you tonight that you don't, don't let this opportunity go by. Donate something for the Jum'a appeal uh, for Jum'a this week, inshallah. Uh, no matter how small it is, it's, it's good to make that donation so you can gain the blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And once again to do that, you go to our website. Uh, the link is in the chat inshallah to make your Juma donation so all those mugdo for all those who responded to the Juma appeal today and also those who donated yesterday and before may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all our donors a few names we want to mention sister Bibi Shamyun Amin and brother Philip from Ottawa for the monthly donation to the Islamic Forum uh, Siti Ali Khan from Ottawa as well for the Juma Dathaniya automated donation. May Allah subhanahu wa bless Siti Ali Khan. Dr. Tahir Chowdhury from uh, Connecticut in the United States for the Jumad Thaniya 30-day automated donation. May Allah subhanahu wa bless Dr. Tahir Chowdhury uh, and his family. Also, Dr. Wasim Mir from New York for his donation to the Islamic Forum. This is Zairul and family for the Jumad Thani automated donation. Alhamdulillah. And she took the 20 day automated donation. Sister Teresita, I'm not pronouncing the name correctly, Teresita Kamaluddin for the uh, donation. We may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless her, bless her family, inshallah. Uh, Sister Shamina Owen for the Jumma donation. Uh, Sidi Abbas Ali and family for the Jumma donation. May Allah subhanahu bless Sidi Abbas and his family. Sidi Mahmoud Ul Hassan from St. John's, Newfoundland for his donation, Jumma appeal donation. Sister Bibi Farida Chan from and Brother Samachan from Miami, Florida for the Juma Appeal donation today. And also, again, Sister Bibi Farida Chan for the Sadaka donation, another donation, Alhamdulillah. Brother Shahriyar Mahmoud and family for the Juma donation. Brother Troy Ritchie from Minneapolis in Minnesota in the United States for the Juma donation. This is Zairul Khan for the Juma donation. Alhamdulillah. Sidi Imran Durani for the Juma donation. Sister Akin Sigun Oyi Kunle for the Juma donation. Siti Arushia from Los Angeles, California, for the Juma donation. Brother William Akbar from Milledgeville in Georgia, in the United States. We thank uh, Brother William Akbar for the Juma donation. Sister Mariam Pardes from Florida for the Juma donation. We mentioned uh, Sister Halima Dubey Khan uh, from Ajax for the donation that she made uh, on behalf of the individuals we mentioned earlier. Brother Muhammad Abidin from Woodstock, Ontario, for the Juma donation. Siti Khatul bin Zamanuddin from Seattle, Washington, for the Juma donation. Also, we want to thank uh, uh, Brother Faisal, uh, Sidi, Sidi Faisal Tahir for the Juma donation. May Allah subhanahu bless him. Uh, Brother Imran Shadani. Brother Imran Shadani from Mississauga and his family for the German do donation. Sidi Abdi Jabbar Omar from Norcross in Atlanta, Georgia for the Juma donation. Sidi Javid Butt and family uh, for the Juma donation. May Allah subhanahu bless all of you. 
Alhamdulillah. Sister Abida and Sister Shamayla from Manchester, from the United Kingdom for the Juma donation. Sister Shakira Ishmael and Brother Sunny Ishmael, we thank them for the donation and the request dua for, uh, for their daughter Amina, Amina Ishmael, her birthday today. And also to give thanks to Allah SWT for their safe return from Guyana. May Allah SWT bless Sister Shakir, Brother Sunny, the entire family, and, and her daughter, uh, Sister Amina uh, Ishmael, for, on her birthday, inshallah. And also uh, her husband, uh, Brother Ansar Eden, uh, made requests for dua for Amina. Brother Azam, Azam Khan from Mississauga, we thank him for his Juma donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, Siti Shahnaz Chotia uh, from North California, <coughs> we thank her for her donation, Juma donation to the Islamic Forum. <laughs> Brother Naveed Sadiq Ali and family for the Juma donation, we thank you. Brother Abdul Qazi for the Juma donation. Thank Brother Abdul Qazi and his family. Brother Nadim Yusuf for his Juma donation, Sarka donation. We thank Brother Nadim Yusuf and his family. May Allah bless them. Alhamdulillah. Sister Shamshun Nisha, we thank her for her donation to the Islamic Forum. Sister Brenda Williams from Harlem, New York. We thank them for their donation to Islam Forum. Again, Siti Alia Khan from Ottawa. We thank her for her donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, Brother Azfar Ali from Impersal Company. We thank him for his generous donation to the Islamic Forum. Again, Siti Khatul bin Zamanadin from Seattle, Washington. We thank them for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, Sister Bibi Motilal, we thank them for the donation. Sister Kafilet Adiyinka and family, we thank them for the donation to the Islam Forum. Sister Sophia Abati from Ottawa, thank them for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, Brother Faz Muhammad and Sister Hali Muhammad, we thank them for the donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, Siti Karina Mohammed from Trinidad, from Curep in Trinidad. We thank them for their donation to the Islamic Forum. These are some of the names that I want to uh, mention today. We do it for all of them and for all our donors, inshallah. As Alhamdulillah. Those are the names that I want to uh, mention tonight. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of them and all of you. And so we make dua now. Uh, for all our donors, those who don donated today uh, for the Juma appeal, those who donated yesterday before, and before all our donors, make special for all of them. And do remember our special Juma appeal tonight, that if you haven't done so as yet, we kindly request you to make your donation for the Juma appeal. And to do so, once again, you go to uh, the website, islamforumonline.com, and click on the Juma appeal button and make your donation. Very simple. Alhamdulillah. All the requests are dua. We include all of them in dua. And, uh, and also from uh, Sister Halima Dubey, uh, all the requests for her dua. Uh, Sister Bibi Shamina Baksh, also requesting dua. And uh, Sister Zarina Fazal for her family. We also make dua for Brother Mursaleen Muhammad, who died from Bushlat uh, in Guyana. Uh, Inshallah. Uh, Sister Amina. Ishmael, her birthday, and for Sister Shakira uh, and Brother Sunny returning safe from Guyana. All those requests for dua, we include all of them, inshallah, whatever I've mentioned, inshallah. Uh, and special love for everyone who signed into the chat. And for each and every one of you, our entire audience makes special love for you, inshallah. Uh, and whatever dua you want to make, uh, put that knee, keep that knee in your heart, and we want to make dua for you. And of course, uh, special dua, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, elevate the maqam, the spiritual status of a Sayyidah Fatima Zahra in the dunya and in the akhirah. 
elevate her more and more and more. We make dua for her, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put love, mahabba in our hearts for Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra and for her beloved father, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ahlul Bayt, and for the Sahabas and for the Tabi'een, the Awliya, all of them. We make special love for them on this blessed night as we conclude this day of Jum'ah, this blessed day of Jum'ah for this week. So kindly raise your hands and join me in dua. Allahumma ameen. A'udhu billahi s-sami l-alim min ash-shaytan r-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inna kunna min al-zalimin. La ilaha illa Allahu al-halim al-kareem. Subhanallahi rabbil arshil azim. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Allahumma inna nas'aluka mujibati rahmatik wa azaima maghfiratik wal ghanimata min kulli bir wa salamata min kulli ithn Allahumma la tada' lana dhanban illa ghafarta wa la hamman illa farajta wa la daynan illa qadayta wa la maridan illa shafayta wa la maridan illa shafayta ولا ميتا إلا رحمت ولا ميتا إلا رحمت ولا حاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة هي لك رضا إلا قديتها برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وادخلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله Allahumma ameen, ameen, ameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us in tawfiq and in kubul and in ziyadah. Uh, I want, we want to remind you of the daily email that we are sending out. Every day we send out uh, one email every day, uh, which has the links for all the broadcast and the links especially for the special uh, videos that the staff of the Islamic Forum uh, is preparing for you. Every Friday at 12 noon, we release, we have a premiere, we release the new video for that week. Uh, so uh, I, I want you to be mindful about that so you can look at the video. So in the email now, we have the, the links for the different videos that you can look at, you can study, you can benefit from, and then you can forward the link to everyone you know so that they can also look at the video and benefit from it, inshallah. So I want to remind you about that. Inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you from the coronavirus pandemic, protect you, your family members, your loved ones from all sources of harm, keep you safe and secure, keep you in the best state of well-being, in a state of afia. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you strong spiritually so you can be always connected to him and connected to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And especially now, this special connection with Sayyida Fatima, Fatima Zahra on the occasion of her Yawmul Wilada, the day of her birth in this month of Jumada Athania. We want to thank you for uh, looking at our program today. We hope you can uh, join us every day at 7 p.m. Toronto time. And then every Friday, 1 p.m. for the Friday Juma live stream broadcast. And uh, we also want to uh, request you to tell others, you know, family members, relatives, friends, wherever they are, in any country, once they have internet access, they can look at the program, inshallah, anywhere, wherever they are. So tell them, all those that you know about the program, so they can watch your program, they'll benefit, inshallah, and you will inc receive increased blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So do be mindful. Uh, to, to do this, to grab hold of this opportunity to get more blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
And once again, uh, our final appeal for this week for the Juma appeal, we hope you can all respond tonight by going to our website and making a generous donation for Juma on this blessed day as we conclude Juma for today. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you always in the shade of his special mercies. Until we meet again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu.